What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are talking about the pros and cons of suit supply. Over the past four or five years, I have gotten so many questions about suit supply. What do I think about suit supply? Is it worth it? How's the fit? What do I like? What don't I like? So I thought it was finally time to put all those thoughts together for you. I do own four suit supply jackets and one suit. I have a really awesome textured linen jacket, a brown plaid jacket, a light tan herringbone double-breasted jacket, a navy double-breasted jacket, and a chocolate brown cotton suit. So what I'm gonna do is first talk about some of the things that I think are really great about suit supply, and then I will get into a few of the things that I think are not so great. All right, first pro of suit supply, the fabrics. Suit supply works with very well-regarded European mills. We're talking about mills like VBC, E. Thomas, Angelico, Carlo Barbera. All of these fabrics are top notch, definitely not run of the mill stuff, no pun intended. And it is really great to see garments with fabrics like this so readily and widely available. Which brings us to the next pro of suit supply, accessibility. You know, whether it's online or at one of the 35 brick and mortar locations that they currently have in the US, it is very easy to shop suit supply. I've done both. I have bought things right from the showroom and I have bought online. Online especially was very simple and I found the return process to be extremely easy as well. Third pro of Suit Supply is the styling. Suit Supply has done, in my opinion, a phenomenal job of sort of capturing the moment that we've been having in menswear for the past five years or so. The styling of the suits is very classic, which makes them very wearable. Although for me, sometimes the double-breasted lapels can be a little too wide and a little too bold, especially for some people. But overall, I think the styling is right on point for the modern man who is into tailored clothing. One other general styling feature about Suit Supply that helps with its versatility and appeal is that their jackets tend to have a very soft shoulder, which makes them a bit more casual and therefore a lot more wearable. Fourth pro of Suit Supply, the fit. Now, I'm gonna qualify this by saying that I tend to get pretty lucky when it comes to off the rack stuff. I'm a fairly average size, 5'9", 155 pounds. I don't have any weird posture things or super wide shoulders. So jackets tend to fit me pretty well off the rack. Now the fit of suit supply can tend to lean a little more towards the snug side, but in general, I think the cut of the garments is pretty flattering and modern, but at the same time, still classic. Final pro of suit supply is that their garments are offered at a generally decent price. Suits will start at $399, though when you get into a bit more of a premium fabric, the prices do go up. The jackets are typically in the $399 to $599 range, which honestly, considering the fit, the fabric, and the quality, is a very decent price point. All right, so those are the good things. Now let's talk about the bad. The number one thing I cannot stand about Suit Supply is the alterations upsell. So if you go to a Suit Supply showroom and you pick out that $499 suit, I guarantee you will probably be in the $750 to $800 range when all is said and done. I have seen this happen before. I have gone through it myself. You put the suit on, you stand in front of the mirror, and then the stylist comes and starts making recommendations. Some of them are simple and needed, like hemming the pants or bringing in the waist or letting it out, but then they start getting into things like tapering the pants, narrowing the jacket sleeve, shortening the jacket, getting into extremely minute detail about extra fabric on the sides of the jacket. These are all not inexpensive alterations. And listen, you are buying an off-the-rack garment, and there is only so much that can be done to make an off-the-rack pattern fit your body. And sometimes there's absolutely nothing you can do. So if you are having to do so many alterations with an off-the-rack garment at this price, I really think you'll be much better served if you go to a good custom or made-to-measure program. But that's what they do. They get you in the suit, they get you feeling good about it, and then you sort of feel cornered at that point, which I do not like at all. Next thing I do not like about Suit Supply is that I think the stylists tend to give questionable fit recommendations. Or maybe more to the point, I have seen them show more regard for a certain trend than the actual people they are styling. Specifically, I'm talking about the tapered pant leg. I think it goes a little too far at Suit Supply, and I think a well-trained stylist should take into account the person they are styling more than the trend. Third thing I don't like about Suit Supply, and this is more personal, are the pants. The, the pants just do not fit me well. I don't know what it is, and I know there are some people who have absolutely no problem with them, but for whatever reason, they just do not work for me. And I really, really have tried. I've had alterations done, I've tried different sizes. They just don't work for me, 
and I'm pretty sad about it. The final thing I do not like about Suit Supply is the showroom experience. So I have been to Suit Supply showrooms in Soho, on Madison Avenue, in Georgetown, LA, Philadelphia, Boston, and it is always the same. I find the people to be somewhat pretentious. It's hard to get their attention. When I do talk to them, I generally feel talked down to. I've just never gotten a good vibe in a suit supply showroom. And honestly, to me, that is a humongous turnoff. I don't care how good the product is or how much I want it. If I get that feeling, I will gladly take my money someplace else, which is probably why I don't have a lot more suit supply stuff in my closet. So there you have it, my thoughts on the good, the bad, and the somewhat ugly parts of suit supply. Again, this is all based on my personal experience. You may have had a very different kind of experience with suit supply, but whether you've had a good or a bad experience, I would love to hear what you guys think about suit supply. Leave all of your comments and questions down below in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tailored.